bringing you the latest news from Bucks County, this is the Courier Times Update with Rachel Cannell. This Courier Times Update is brought to you by St. Mary Medical Center in Langhorne, PA. It's your health, expect more. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Rachel Canelli reporting from the Courier Times Newsroom with your news update on this Monday, May 6th. Two people were hospitalized overnight after they were overcome by fumes at the giant food store on Street Road in Ben Salem. Officials determined this morning that a propane saw being used in the store was the source of the fumes. The store is usually open 24 hours a day, but it remained closed earlier today with fire trucks still outside. It wasn't clear when the store would reopen for business today, but check back with BucksCountyCrayerTimes.com for updates. Humeville residents are expected to flood tonight's council meeting to protest a counseling center in the borough for sexually violent predators. Sources tell us Resources for Human Development has been renting office space on Reitz Avenue for about two years and the lease runs through next year. It's one of four behavioral health providers certified by the state to treat individuals under Megan's Law. Other Bucks County providers are in Newtown and Newtown and Doylestown townships. The Borough Council meets tonight at 7.30 in Borough Hall on Main Street. Reporter Joe Chevalier has all the details online. Newtown Township Police say this community is being targeted by a notorious smash-and-grab burglary ring with Florida roots. Police say there is a rise in parking lot car thefts at daycare centers, fitness centers, and parks. The locations are similar to those part of an investigation involving the so-called Felony Lane Gang, a group that allegedly travels up and down the I-95 corridor looking for vehicles where women leave purses or wallets inside the car. Police say female accomplices then physically alter their appearance to use the victim's IDs to cash checks. Reporter Joe Chevalier has more information in a story on our website. For our Bucks County weather, I hope you got in some sunshine this weekend because it is not going to be sticking around. In fact, this could be a pretty wet week. Today is mostly cloudy with a high near 67 and a low around 52. There's a chance of showers tonight and tomorrow. Tuesday's high will be 68. When we come back, have you ever thought about combining chili and ice cream? It doesn't sound very appetizing to me personally, but our food show host Chuck Thomas will be here in the newsroom to tell us why you may want to try it before saying no. A Quaker Town chef has come up with a unique idea to take the edge off spicy chili, and our video reporter Chuck Thomas is joining us to tell us about his recent taste test. Thanks for stopping by, Chuck. Sure. I can honestly say that I have never thought of topping my ice cream sundae with chili. Uh, you know, you use the word unique, and I'd say that's uh, certainly a, a good term for this one. Uh, not something I'd ever thought of before, um, but this is a <laughs> this is an invention of a unique chef, uh, and uh, it really it really kind of works in the end. I mean, it's a, a little sweet, a little spicy, and, and something I think the viewers you know might get an idea to try at home. And does it help take the, the spiciness? Does it help kind of cool it down? Absolutely, absolutely. This particular chili uh, had habaneros in it, so it was it was pretty hot, and uh, that sweetness in the ice cream did kind of temper it a little bit. It was it was it was an interesting taste test. Okay, well, to say the least. hopefully it looks better than it sounds, at least to me. Let's check it out in this week's Eat This. I'd like Chef Ellie just briefly to explain a little bit about a couple of the peppers that he uses, um, and why don't you start with the habanero, Chef? Yeah, the hottest pepper that I use is a habanero, which is orange in color once it's mature. And I like the smaller is a, is a hotter heat than one that's, you know, large and mature like this one. It sounds weird because everybody that I, you know, tell them about it and they all make faces. But what it does is the ice cream takes all the heat away and you sort of mix them, blend them together. That is delicious. This is a this is an ice cream sundae that most people have not tried before and I think for chili and ice cream lovers it's something they really should try. If you have a dish you'd like Chuck to try, you can email him at cthomas at phillyburbs.com. In high school sports, it's been an up and down season for Pensbury's baseball team. The guys began with a five game win streak and then suffered through a five game losing streak in April. But now video reporter Jem Wilgus tells us they're back on the upswing. We could be better. We've lost a couple close games that have came down to errors, but 
we when we play our game, which is no errors, we're hitting, clean fielding, we're a very good team, but we just always have to bring it together like that. We just got to practice strong and just keep up the fielding. That's mostly it. We just got to field and hit, and that's all. We can play our game, we can win out. I keep telling these kids, you have to believe that we can win every game and that we still have an opportunity. And if we don't, you know, you, you look at, we went 5-0, and we won some close games. Yeah. If we lost five, then we beat Hopewell by, by one, we beat Tennant by one, so we came back and we're winning close ones again. And, uh, you know, if we can keep our head straight and keep doing what we know has been successful in the past, you know, we really can't be beaten. The Falcons have won four of their last five games, and they hope to keep that momentum going through the final five games of the regular season. You can follow Jen's high school sports coverage at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. Sticking with baseball, Philly's right-handed starter Roy Halladay is likely headed to the team's disabled list with shoulder issues. Our very own Kevin Cooney was there as the pitcher talked about the uncertain problem, which could have the team's season riding on it. You know, it's uh, right shoulder discomfort. Um, Going to have a look at here in the next few days, and uh, once we get information from that, we'll obviously let people know what's going on. You can see more of Kevin's Phillies coverage on our website. Now here's a look at what we're working on in the newsroom. The woman who allegedly hid in a Newtown spa and stole money and beauty products has a preliminary hearing today. Reporter Joe Chevalier will be in court covering. Pensbury alum and actor Richard Kind returns to his alma mater to be inducted into the school's Theater Hall of Fame and to work with students. Photographer Chloe Elmer will be there. And finally, this week is National Travel and Tourism Week, and our very own Visit Bucks County will hold a National Tourism Day event tomorrow at the Visitor Center in Ben Salem. Several Bucks County places such as Pensbury Manor and the Missioner Art Museum will also be offering free admission to the first 100 visitors. You can check out visitbuckscounty.com slash tourism week for more details. You can find all of these stories and of course updates on your latest local news at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. I'm Rachel Canelli. Thanks for watching. Make it a great Monday.